A 75 kilogram mass is attached to the end of a 5 meter long metal rod which rotates in a horizontal circular path. If the maximum force that the rod can withstand is 8500 newtons, what is the maximum speed that the mass can attain without breaking the rod? So the first thing I'm going to show here is the rod which we are rotating about a specific path which I'm going to show about here. Now our object is rotating about this circular path here as shown. It is a length of 5 meters as stated above. That So the length of our rod is going to be the radius because at the end we have some mass attached to it m which is equal to 75 kilograms. Now since we're rotating in this circular path we know that we're going to have a centripetal acceleration. With that being known we know that if we do Newton's second law net force is equal to ma centripetal we would find that the net force that the rod can withstand is a total of 8500 newtons. So from here we now have to calculate the maximum speed that our mass can attain without breaking the rod. So we remember that the equation for the triple acceleration is given by v squared over r, v being the velocity of the object, r being the radius. So if we plug this into our equation here, we would find that the force is equal to m v squared over r. Now that we have this equation of our force in terms of the mass, the velocity, and our radius, we now have to solve this in terms of the maximum speed it can have. So we're trying to solve for v. So the first thing we're going to do is multiply both sides by r, giving us mv squared is equal to f times r. We're then going to divide both sides by m, giving us v squared is equal to f times r over m. And then, since we want just v, v instead of v squared, we have to take the square root of both sides. This gives us the velocity is equal to the square root of the force times the radius divided by the mass. If we now plug in all of our given values, we would find that v is equal to the square root of 8500 newtons times a radius of 5 meters divided by a mass of 75 kilograms. If we now multiply and divide and then take the square root of that, we would find that our velocity would be approximately 23.8 meters per second.